G'day guys, welcome back to Valheim and the Ashlands. Hope you guys are doing well. We've found another fort in the previous episode. And, well, I guess maybe that was really the highlight. We have been fighting our way further south. It has been a bit of a slog, to be honest. But uh, I think it's paid off. So here we are, about to breach another fort. The first thing we need to do, though, is to perhaps take care of business with uh, some of these Valkyries that are flying about. So uh, let's start with that. I'm just trying to get rid of all of this Rouston, which I don't really need. Um, ammo, we seem to still have quite a bit. I was reading quite a few comments in, I think it was the previous episode or the episode before that, around gem weapons, and uh, a lot of people seem to really like the thunder effect and recommend uh, using the thunder version or I guess it's the iolite version of various weapons and I tend to agree which means I may end up at some point switching things out to uh, essentially I guess make a, um, a ripper that gives us the thunder effect so that's the plan anyway And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to to do that with the amount of flame metal that we already have. Another thing that I should really be doing is, uh, well, this is according to quite a few people, is I should be making use of... Um, our... Uh, I guess flame resistance potions which is very true because uh, you know I, I don't really use it very much and I guess these fights that we're having with the Valkyrie specifically uh, it could actually help us quite a bit so might consider doing that um, but for now, we'll focus on trying to get within these walls. Um, I suppose maybe I do want to start by doing maybe a bit of a lap around the um, this fort because um, the last thing we want is enemies spawning nearby. I mean, we've got another spawner here. We've got an Askvin just sitting around here. Definitely want to get rid of that. But yeah, this is the primary concern, I would say. So let's do what we need to. And you know what? I've just realized, but um, I don't exactly have a rested buff on me right now, so probably a good idea to go home and grab one. I actually don't know what time it is or what time of day it is. Uh, one other thing that I've sort of noticed with the um, Need Hog, the Thundering, is if you have a few enemies nearby and they're also all affected by the, um, the lightning, then um, you may see that um, the likelihood of the lightning effect doing damage is maybe increased or perhaps maybe spreads to other enemies don't quote me on that but it looks like that happens every now and then when we have various enemies nearby and not just one enemy um, okay let's let's leave now because 
I really, really need that rested buff. Now, should I play around with the catapult once more? Uh, I don't really know if that's necessary. So let's just throw a few things in storage. And... Do I want to throw these in storage as well? I suppose I could. It's just that we tend to pick up more of this stuff anyway. I'm just trying to remember if I'm keeping a stock of bombs and stuff. Yeah, I do actually have bombs and those types of things. And I was sort of thinking maybe I can keep the basal bombs together, but I don't really have space for too much more. Maybe what I can do is I can grab all of our basal bombs and actually put them here. So we have all of the bombs together. And yeah, now I should be able to just like drop everything in here without worrying too much about getting rid of the basal bombs. Alright, looking good, but we do need that rested buff, so let me just have a a nice sit down here in front of the fire. I wonder if perhaps maybe there's something that I can make where we have like some seating in front of the fire. That might look kind of nice. Alright. Back to it. We don't really have extra food just in case of emergency, so let me just bring some emergency rations with me. And I do need to do quite a bit of cooking in this episode because we've ran out of mashed meat. And the pies are getting low as well, so... Just as well, we're picking up some more Aspen Tails. So I do hear some kind of enemy nearby. Not sure where, though. Okay, there's actually a lot of those archers up there. <laughs> so they can prove to be problematic. So yeah, I did say that I wanted to do a lap. We haven't exactly done that. Let me just see if I can go around this way. Oh yes, more of the Askvin tails here. Let's grab those. Um, more flame metal on that side. Hmm. Okay, I don't see any spawners or anything like that. Star Marksman. The door is right here. I think it makes sense to breach that one. Yeah, no other spawners on this side, luckily. So we do have our friends making their way. I don't know where they've come from, but it seems like they haven't taken damage from lava or anything, so perhaps maybe they've just spawned. Now, the problem that I have with um, Needhog the Thundering is um, that thunder effect may um, jump to um, these vergers and um, that's definitely not our intention, right? Like, to do damage to them. Especially not in these situations where they're actually helping us. Righto. So, um, what I'm afraid of at this stage is the number of enemies that might be behind the doors.
because I haven't exactly taken down any of the warlocks just yet. And I'm just wondering whether or not I'd be able to spot any of them from afar and just try to take them out with the Ripper. But maybe that's kind of impossible at this stage. Okay, um, so next phase is making our battering ram, so we need all the ingredients for that. So I'm really crossing my fingers to hopefully get some Iolite out of this whole exercise. So 10 flame metal, 20 ash wood, a couple of cores I think. Yeah, we're super low on the Ashwood at the moment, actually. Alright, so looking good, but we will need some fuel for this, so... Let's bring maybe five pieces of wood. Uh, got some more cooking ingredients, so... I'll just place that down. And I guess we've got too many Aspen meat. Or Aspen Tails, rather. Okay, sun looks like it's about to set. I think the very first thing that I can do, or the very least that I can do right now, is just get this, um, this thing set up. And, um, maybe we can come back for, um, for all of this. Oh, there's the Warlock. Okay. Well, since the Warlock's right here... Okay. Good. That should help with our assault. Um, and look, since we're out here, and it's still daytime. Not for much longer. Um, let's see if we can just hunt some more Aspen here. That Aspen doesn't seem to want to get close though. Don't know what's going on there. Okay. Let's head back. I'll just grab some of this stuff here and yeah, we'll leave battering ram for now. Uh, and yeah, since we have a little bit of time to kill, uh, I think maybe doing that cooking that I mentioned before um, is in order. So that'd probably be a, a decent use of our time. So let's get to it. Gather up all of the Askvin meats and the eggs, these vulture eggs, which, yeah, we, we do have a few. Um, and, yeah, I don't really have a lot of space, do I? Just gonna throw a few things back into storage here and 
we should have the space to make those pies and stuff. Yeah, I'm hoping we'll get some Iolite and then we'll be able to upgrade the sword at least one more level. Um, and depending on how much Iolite we find, maybe we can then think about getting another version of the Ripper. Um, and sure, you know, I've wasted some flame metal on this one, but that's okay. We can just keep this in storage. Um, because, uh, um, I guess another thing that I wanted to mention is some people were saying that the, um, the effect that, uh, this is describing is, um, because I, I think I initially thought that, um, it was... Um, the more damage you do to the enemy, the more damage you will subsequently deal. But it's not the case. Um, they're actually... Um, well, it's actually dealing more damage based on... Um, how much damage you've taken. So it is good, apparently, for melee combat because you're likely to lose quite a lot of health all the time. But, yeah, the idea, obviously, is that you don't really want to um, have too much of your health taken away, obviously, so, um, yeah. God, sorry, multitasking. Um, where is mashed meat? Oh, yes, we need flour for the pies and stuff. Um, and, yeah, we may as well get a couple of these pies into the oven immediately while we fumble around looking for the ingredients for some of the other stuff. So, bloody hell, these mashed meats. There it is. Oh, the fiddleheads. Okay. gonna make so many of these things. Alright. Cooking up a bit of a storm here. Let's go for some more bone marrow. Sorry, not bone marrow. Bone more. <laughs> um, meat. Oh no. No, no, no. That's not what we want. grab these before they burn. Oh, and uh, yeah, I think someone mentioned that you can basically do that and um, get your stuff back. So I did actually want to give that a go the next time we made the mistake and there we are. It definitely works. Okay, so, bone more meats. Oh god. I thought I got rid of, oh yeah, I just picked them up again. That's right. Goodness me. All right, um, vulture meats. <laughs> Let's drop these. Okay. flower. Right. And what else do we want to make? I mean, 
the Scorching Medley might not be a bad idea. And I probably do want to um, throw in some more barley into the mill. Eyes might be done. We're sort of risking burning them. Come on, let's go get it. Alright, good. So, throw all of that in. The scorching medleys, what do we need for those? Or do we want to just simply go with more mashed meats? I think we can do both though. I do need more Jotun Puffs. bit of wood. And sure, more mashed meat, because we are going through them pretty quickly. Right, um, I do need to chuck the hammer away. We'll do that in a second. Let me just go out to the Mistlands. We'll uh, gather up some stuff from there. I think it should be becoming morning very soon. And let's get these in. Yeah, okay, they all might be a little bit too close to the the edge there. So a bit of a waste. I remember absolutely hating on the mountain biome and then subsequently hating on the mistlands. But uh, yeah, the ashlands definitely takes the cake <laughs> considering all of our experiences so far. I, I do think early on though that the mountains is a bit of a pain in the ass though. And, um, yeah, those wolves out there can be very relentless, but, um, that's nothing compared to the Ashlands, because the Ashlands, 
we keep dying despite having decent gear. I feel like the enemy spawn rate is maybe a little bit higher and um, the tougher versions of the enemies out there spawn quite frequently as well. Anyway, rant over. It is time for us to actually get in there and um, try and make a difference. Though it is still pretty dark, isn't it? Maybe I've got a little bit of time to do other stuff. I'll grab some honey. Maybe we can make some more major healing potions because that's definitely keeping us alive. And I'm likely to need quite a few of them when we eventually challenge the boss. So yeah, let's go ahead and make some major healing mead. Sun's about to come up, but uh, as you know, it does take a little bit of time before it actually starts getting brighter. The royal jellies are sort of running out though, so I'm a little bit worried about that. And uh, we're likely going to need to go back to the Mistlands and we're likely going to need to actually go to old um, mines and stuff that we've already cleared out. Because I believe the enemies respawn and I believe you can get more royal jelly that way. Yeah, I've definitely been put putting that off. For sure. Um, we do need to have some breakfast, so let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah, let's go in with the best foods that we have. And a quick repair, and we should be good to go. Bone mass is ready. A little bit of wood for fueling the battering ram. Oh, um, one thing that we don't have, though, is enough wood for another workbench for when we actually get on the inside of the structure. So let's just bring another 10 with us, and that should do the trick. Okay, let's do this. Oh, damn. <laughs> After all that. Okay, first things first, just making sure the coast is clear. No more Valkyries have respawned. Okay, looking good. I don't really see any of those Vergers anymore. I guess maybe they've taken themselves out because I feel like those Vergers just constantly take damage on the, um, on the spikes here. Okay, we are in position. Damn it. Add wood. Okay, let's go. It doesn't last very long though, that's the thing. And there's gonna be a wave of enemies in here. Okay, yep. Let's pull back. Do I use... Bone mass. Yes, I think so.
Oh, we do have some verger friends there, so that's good. So, another warlock. Let's get to the warlock first. Uh, let's go for this one first, actually. Yeah, just trying to avoid getting hit by those AoE attacks. There we go. Right. What a bit of a mess of a assault there. <laughs> Super messy. Take out of these scugs here. Right, and there should be more of these scugs, right? So try and just take these out. Good stuff. Um, we do still have plenty of room in our inventory. Well, plenty of weight in the inventory, but Maybe not so much room. It could be a good idea for us to just quickly duck out and drop some stuff. Right, that was a bit risky. Just looking at our bone mass timer there. Still quite a while. The only thing that concerns me at the moment is whether or not we might come across some um, Valkyries that might spawn. What else can I remove? Oh yes, that's right, the hammer. I've forgotten about that completely. Um, I can maybe put the hammer here. Do I have- oh yes, I still have a lot of royal jelly with me. That's good, that's good. I will actually transfer a batch of royal jelly back down to the kitchen. That way we won't have to worry about going to the Mistlands soon. Yeah, we've still got a little bit more royal jelly here. We'll um, 
move that across this way. This is already quite full. <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry, uh, getting distracted. We do need to go back and just destroy the battering ram, bring it in. Again, every time we do this, I just think I feel the entrance to these forts could have been designed a little bit bigger to allow us to go through. Before we even start though, got some loot over here, right? Okay, we've got some gems, we've got coins. I think we still have enough space for more though. Let's get you working. All right. Good stuff. Um, I don't think there are any more enemies above us, so that's good. Break this open. More bell fragments and... Oh yes, exactly what we're looking for. The Iolite, and we've got two as well. So I should be able to upgrade the sword and then maybe work on getting a different type of ripper. I think uh, we should be set for when we go to the next continent. So, I've got a lot of stuff here, but I do want to bring this home as well. Maybe I can just let go of that. Uh, the Prowsite Powder, probably don't really need that because we've got plenty of it. So yeah, we've uh, been able to make the space here, so hopefully that should be everything. The Battering Ram as well. Unless we don't have the weight, because there's a lot of flame metal in here. Ah, uh, that's everything. It's good. Okay, very, very successful start to the episode. Well, we're perhaps maybe already halfway through, but um, a successful assault nonetheless. So let's get to upgrading. I don't need to worry about moving our position here, um, but I'm wondering, I'm wondering now whether or not I should just continue exploring this continent further um, for even more forts. Uh, and we seem to be having some luck finding Iolite in this continent and I wonder perhaps maybe if uh, the different continents have anything to do with um, what you'll get gem wise from all of the forts but um, I don't know I think that's a little unlikely because um, I feel like it's probably just all randomized right got a lot of stuff to stash away a lot of coins. 
Oh my god, we're gonna run out of space for coins. <laughs> Gems. Uh, I will grab the Iolite again in a second, guys, but um, let's just tidy up first. There we go, and... Charred Bones. Rouston. Um, yeah, let's take that out because, as I said, perhaps maybe we should start using this. But I'll use it when we um, do a bit more exploring. Yeah, we've got a stash anyway. Righto. Upgrades and a new Ripper. Maybe let's start with the sword first. So, Nidhog, the Thundering. Need another six flame metal and one more Iolite. That brings us to level two. And I think that's going to be the maximum that we can upgrade to for now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm likely going to need the other piece of Iolite anyway, so let's bring both. Alright, let's do it. Very good, very good. Um, yeah, so as we can see here, we need the forge to be level six. Uh, and yeah, I mean, in terms of the ingredients itself, this is not really a worry. I'm sure we'll find more Iolite as we progress, um, and flame metals everywhere at this point. So, but let's start working on Storm Ripper. So to do that, we're going to need the base Ripper, eight flame metal, Eight ash, uh, sorry, eight flame metal, ten ash wood, two sinews, and some teeth as well. Maybe it was like, I don't know, six, ten. Hopefully that's everything. Four. Anyway, let's craft it. And now, to get the storm version, we need eight flame metal. Uh, and I assume just the one Iolite, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was sort of thinking, do I go with the root version? Because that might be good to be able to pin enemies down. Um, hmm. I'm thinking. <laughs> should we, should we do that instead? We need some flame metal, regardless, I feel. Uh, and, you know, we've got so many jade um, pieces, so... I'm sort of interested in maybe using some of it. Um, let's, let's just compare here. So, Storm Ripper. Chance to apply 
Lightning, 25%, which just deals extra damage, right? Whereas Root Ripper is immobilizing the enemy, which might be good if we're trying to do like follow up shots. Problem that I have with all of this description though is that it doesn't tell us how long the enemy would be mobilized or immobilized for. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything that we can read up on that. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure where to find details on what this status effect means exactly because um, if it doesn't give us the amount of time required to do a follow-up shot, then you know, I feel like it might not be as good. Although, Fighting the Valkyries, often the problem is that you're always sort of rushing to avoid getting hit. And being able to mobilize for a few seconds even um, might not be bad just so that we can sort of plan our next move in those few seconds, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, might also give us a chance to, um, you know, take potions and stuff like that. But... You know what, guys? I think I'm going to stick to the original plan, which is to do Storm Ripper. Um, I like more damage, I feel. And that way, um, we can simply kill all the things faster. Let's put that in its slot. And yeah, we should hopefully give this a try soonish. Um, I do need to stash away stuff that we're not going to use. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. So it is dark at the moment, so can't exactly go to the Ashlands right now. We will have a sleep in two seconds. Just think, since we've been using all that flame metal recently, we should get some more going. And uh, if we want to do that, we actually need to make some more coal. Because we have ran out of coal. Um, we probably have stacks of wood sitting in storage here as well, so maybe we can just grab that. Yeah, we've got quite a bit. Not like a lot, lot, but I'll steal some and then we can go back out, just quickly cut a few trees down, replenish our source of wood. Oh, okay. Everyone is just waiting for us. Bit of a surprise. <laughs> wow. These guys really don't stand a chance with um, Needhog the Thundering. Grabbing all the things out here. Oh, I was wondering why the ground was shaking a little bit. Everyone's out to party right now. Alright, um, let's 
Get back to business here. Oh no! <laughs> One of our um, precious... Um, are these birch trees? Anyway, the, the fine wood trees. I guess trying to gather wood at night isn't the best of ideas, since most of these enemies are probably going to be out and about. Uh, let's get rid of that, that, and don't need the tails, don't need that, yeah. Probably going to be a bit of a junk pile here. Yeah, getting those birch seeds seem to be so much harder now. I don't know what's going on. I feel like we're likely going to run out of, um, like, fine wood as a result. Not too much stuff. Uh, let's just tuck things away. Firstly, I do have food for the chooks, so let's do that first. Just gonna grab some of this and throw that in. I don't really know what I'm going to do with all of the coins. Actually, I do need to visit the traders. Uh, I haven't been to the traders since the most recent update with the Ashlands coming into play. So, yeah, maybe I should go there sometime soon. Um, yeah, I'll try and remember maybe in the next episode we'll, we'll go for a visit and um, maybe they might have some interesting things that we haven't seen. But uh, I'm not really keeping my hopes up, though.
Let's give this thing a go. Okay, didn't kill him in the one shot, unfortunately, but... Still pretty good, though. Okay, more food for the chookies. I know this is supposed to be a thunder effect, but, um, I don't know, the thing vaguely looks like it would do, like, ice or freeze damage. I wonder where I'm keeping these. Oh yeah, there we go. We only have a couple of them. Alright, um, stone, yeah, okay. More wood. So I think we might go out to the Ashlands once more. And we'll spend a little bit of time trying to move the portal. And yeah, I'm thinking, guys, we should maybe do a bit of a circular uh, motion uh, to sort of cover off some ground that we haven't seen out there in the Ashlands before we sort of swing back around to our landing area. Um, that way, you know, it'll increase our chances of hopefully finding some more forts. And some forts that actually contain Iolite, hopefully. Let's have some more breakfast here. And... Yeah, let's uh, go on another expedition. Do I need more potions? Probably not. Uh, I do have a bit more... Boar meat here. Some more pork. Uh, yeah, alright. I can't wait to give the sword a try, actually. <laughs> I'm really, really keen. So we should be, hopefully, dealing a lot more damage to all of the enemies in the Ashlands. And, I mean, my assumption, and I could be assuming wrong here, but my assumption is that uh, things should become easier for us. So... The issue that I have, though, is the various deposits of um, flame metal. So, do we really want the flame metal? Or should I just leave them? I'm thinking we just leave them. We can always come back here when we're even stronger and just sort of walk over everything in our path to get to it. Um, I know there's a little bit more just over this way. So I just wanted to place some markers down. Alright, so... I'm thinking maybe we sort of go... Hmm... We want to go east? Yeah, I think we can go east and around. <laughs> wow, okay. Like that. I like that. 
So hang on, let's just plan things out here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go around like that. does still take quite a while to to actually um, wind up the ripper so yeah that is always a concern but oh okay the Morgan didn't realize. Right, um, it's suddenly gotten a little dark though. Should I be concerned? Well, it's not like ash is like pouring down on us, so I could probably still continue. But yeah, I feel like we are getting very close to the end of the episode. One thing that I forget whether or not I have done is, uh, yeah, okay, sorry, I, I could just simply check it. The shield is already level 2, so it's exactly what we want. So if I continue further that way, I think that's what we want. Valkyrie. Um, so with a Valkyrie around, I am always a bit concerned about our survivability. So let's not muck about and let's just prepare for the worst. But yeah, I do want to sort of proceed that way. We do have a spawner out in the distance. Definitely need to take that out. But yeah, this Valkyrie needs to go first. Nice. Yeah, okay, so if we can catch Valkyries from afar, we can do a lot of damage with this thing, even before it sort of closes the distance to us. Wondering if I can do enough damage to this thing from afar and we don't actually have to deal with it. Don't even let any of the enemies spawn. I don't know if we're even hitting it though, so that's the concern. I don't know how far the uh, projectile goes. Right, looking good.
Okay. It probably just needed a few more shots, to be honest. Ah oh, yes, guys. <laughs> we are on a roll. We are on a roll. Um, okay. So, we know what we're doing in the next episode. Um, I'm just sort of having a think about where I want to uh, set things up before we finish up this episode. There's a lot of structures over here. It might not be a bad idea just to, to take refuge here. Yeah, we're looking really good, and next episode is looking very promising as well. Um, I'm super happy with uh, the new version of the Ripper that we have. And uh, this thing, hopefully, should make fighting those Valkyries a lot easier. And um, therefore, letting us sort of traverse a little bit um, easier as well. I'm thinking maybe the fort is going to be around here somewhere, and once we hit that one up, I'm thinking we head north from there. Yeah, this doesn't look traversable anyway. So, yeah, anyway, signing out here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this one, as usual, drop me a like down below. If you do want to support me further, a subscription goes a long way. Otherwise, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.